Let me read the question now. Given that integral 3 divide with 1 plus 2x to the power of 4 with respect to dx equals to k in a bracket 1 plus 2x to the power of n plus with c. Find the value of k and of n. So this is the overall question. Okay, so without further delay, let us start to solve this question. Okay, this question is considered special guys because you can literally solve this question in two ways. Okay, you might be surprised. How come two ways? Okay, I'm going to tell you one. You can either integrate this and then you compare with the coefficient k and c or you can perform the differentiation of this and you compare with this. Okay, you should be getting the uh, same answer. Okay, the method is up to you but since we are dealing in the integration chapter, so it is highly recommended that we perform the integration. Okay, it is much uh, convenient for me and as for you guys. Okay, so without further ado, let us start to solve the question. So to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy down this integration equation into our working. So from here, okay, integral 3, okay, and then you divide with 1 plus 2x to the power of 4, okay, with respect to dx. Okay, so let me underline the fraction. Okay, so for the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this 1x to x to the power of 4 to the numerator. So the index for it will change into from positive into negative. Okay, so from here, you'll be getting 3 in a bracket 1 plus 2x to the power of negative 4 with respect to <coughs> dx. Okay, once everything okay, now you can proceed to perform the integration. Okay, let us perform the integration for this expression. So you integrate this, you should be getting 3 in a bracket 1 plus 2x to the power of negative 3. So how you get this negative 3? Negative 4, you plus with 1. The index, you plus with 1. Okay, so this negative 3, you also divide with negative 3 as well. Okay, and before that, you need to times with the differentiation of this bracket. So in this case, the inside bracket, you have the value 1 plus 2x. So when you differentiate this, you should be getting 2. So this negative 3, you times with 2. Technically, the 2 will be timesing the denominator negative 3. Okay, once all okay, then you plus with c. Okay, so from here, negative 3 times with 2, you should be getting negative 6. Okay, so you'll be getting 3 in a bracket 1 plus 2x to the power of negative 3 and then you divide with 6. So for the next step, so when you simplify this, okay, you simplify this, you get 1, you get, you simplify this, you get 2. So 1, you divide with negative 2. So from here, this negative 1 over 2, you can split into a single fraction where it will become negative 1 over 2. Okay, and then this index, you put it in the middle where it will become 1 plus 2x to the power of negative 3 plus with c. Why? We need to make sure that it fulfills this expression. Okay, like I mentioned in the previous example, you can put this uh, expression in the middle and also at the numerator. By the way, if you haven't watched the previous example, please click on the link above and watch those video for better understanding. Okay, <clears throat> so when you compare this expression and with the given expression by the question, so from here you should be getting k is equals to negative 1 over 2 and n equals to negative 3. So let me write down in the working. Okay, so let me double check. Okay, so this is your final answer. So let me underline the solutions for this question. Okay, 
So that is all for the step-by-step -step working and solution for this question. I hope you understand the full working that I've shown to you. If you like this video, make sure that you give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more upcoming mathematics tutorial videos in the future and not to forget to share this video. Thank you everyone for your support and I'll see you in the next video.